Hey everyone, welcome to part 10 of Folk with Ultraviolent 4. We're getting into the latter stages of this one. We've come down to depth 5 and we're immediately met by this red marked enemy, Frederick. Let's XV him, have a look. Okay, a few things to note. The first is that Iron Shot really hurts. The other thing is that he has a really high damage bolt of cold. So we'll definitely want to be putting our um, our cold on, RC. And he has a spell forged servitor, which can also hit you with the iron shot and the bolt of cold. Okay, let's check. We don't have any scrolls of silence. That's one way to make him much less threatening. Because, I mean, okay, he can still hit for up to 27 damage, but that's nothing like being hit for 100 damage with an iron shot. Or a bolt of cold. Or even more if it's both him and the Spellforge at the same time. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, that is if we're fighting him, the other option would be just to go upstairs, which is probably not the worst option, but I feel like we can fight him. I wouldn't mind just getting rid of him so I know he's gone from the floor and I'm not gonna meet him as I'm exploring and fighting other things later on. Particularly with how much noise we're likely to make on the floor. Uh, we could be pulling him from anywhere. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put on RC instead of protection from fire. He has no source of fire damage. He's now on top of us. Okay. What do? Uh, probably not damnation him. He's a demigod. Doesn't tell you here, but his character is a demigod, so you can vamp off him. So we're going to switch to vamp. Okay, and a few things that you can do. Well, the first thing I think I'm going to do is if I were really afraid of him, I could wander, put a Wand of Clouds down, but I think we probably don't need that. Um, so I'm going to summon a Box of Beast Friend. We got a Mature one, which is pretty good. <laughs> we make a Pang, and then suddenly we hear a bunch of things. So there's more stuff coming. All right. And the reason that I'm fighting him down here, rather than just taking him upstairs, is that his Spellforge acts like all other summons. So if he summons his Spellforge, I'll go upstairs and it won't come. And then he's kind of like a, in a Lich or an Ancient Lich in the sense that um, you can just throw nets at him. And then once he's been netted, uh, he just dies. Alright, so that was ultimately pretty easy. There you go, Demigod Corpse. And then we can hang out here a bit, I guess. Nothing actually came. They made all that noise and then just did not come. Right, fair enough, I guess. Let's go back to fire. That's not fire. I'm going to say that I probably don't need a plus three ring of evasion. Yeah. Hey, cool. Alright, we can't dig against that guy. He's our, our kill hole buster. This looks like it might be... No, it doesn't. I was going to say that looks like it might be the entrance to Zot, but it really doesn't. It's usually always stone walls, like you see up here, not metal. I'd rather do the... the a worm? What? <laughs> I'd rather do the, the entrance to Zot last because that's likely to be the most dangerous. There's stone walls here too. We can dig around this and see what's going on. Uh, yeah, I guess it's just a pattern of the floor. <laughs> I thought we were sensing the edge of a vault there but no, it was just the floor pattern. Alright, fair enough. Stone walls everywhere. I don't like that. I want to be able to dig. It's making me feel really uneasy coming in here too. Okay. There's lots of different patterns. I'm pretty sure that this in here, this stone thing in the middle, it seems like the middle of the floor is going to be, it's going to be the one. So I'm going to stick to the outside. Um, not only will I then not get surrounded by monsters, but I'm near a wall. So it immediately means that I can dig. Should I need to? 
which as a former said, you always need to. <laughs> if there's one thing I hope you learn from this game, it's that uh, former says like digging. Although I feel like if you haven't worked that one out on your own, uh, there might be something wrong. Sensing guys next to stone walls. Sensing a lot of guys next to stone walls. I'm going to yell a bit. No, if they're just yak tours, that's fine. No, those dudes are spriggans. Alright, here comes... Here comes my deep buster again. So I guess we'll start fighting here. Until I take him down, there's really not much point digging a kill hole. Alright, well he's gone. Let's go. Really, really wish I had some sling. Good. And again, uh, sticking to the outside. <laughs> just one shot yak to us. I don't know. I laugh every time I one shot something with damnation. It's just so. It's just so silly, I guess. Damnation is always just something that owns you so badly and extended that. Having it yourself and one-shotting things with it. I don't know. It's a great feeling. Got more enchant arm scrolls that we cannot use. <laughs> that feel when you've gotten all the way to depths 5 and you've still never found a pair of shoes. <gasps> oh! Oh! I can buy a pair of shoes for 72 gold. Let's go. <laughs> I hadn't noticed. Can't vamp off these guys. You should, you should know that. You should know that because, um, yeah, if you are expecting to live by vamping off them, it's not gonna work. Again, speaking from experience, shoes, awesome. We can finally protect our weary feet. <laughs> um, I could enchant this. Um, that wouldn't be horrible. I feel like I'm not in huge need of AC right now though. Uh, I'm thinking that I might want to change to gold dragon scales at some point. But then why? Why? I'm just gonna hold off. I'll enchant my armor. Um, I'm just thinking... Yeah. I don't feel like I'm in huge need of AC right now. So I don't mind just holding out. Also, I should not just be running at the, the Zot entrance chamber like that. The other thing that I noticed as I was firing this one up is we're in depth 5 and we're already XL27. The contrast between being a species that gains experience quickly, like Formicid, and one that was gains one slowly, like a mummy, is really quite stark. And we even did Crypt on the mummy. A part of that is that uh, we're sharing XP with our zombies, so they work like summons where um, they steal XP from you, but still, most of that is just being a mummy and getting experience really slowly. Alright, I think we're mostly good now. Seems like we've cleared everything around the outside. Crossbows to 12. We need to get to 20 for Mindelay. I don't see any reason why we should stop. I guess we could get more dodging instead. How fast do we fire? Let's see. Fire at 1.3. Yeah, I guess firing at 1 is better. Is it worth the experience to get there? Maybe. I guess it is a pretty nutty crossbow. Yeah, we'll just keep doing it. Do these guys resist? No, he felt like he took barely anything from that. I guess he was just a really strong bone dragon.
I sense things coming from behind me, which makes me feel a little bit uneasy. But there you go. And it was a Titan. Oh man, they hurt. I went and got the orange brain because I just did not want him summoning whole packs of things. Yeah. Titan airstrike is no joke. You can do up to 50 damage. Same as Gastronok actually. Oh, one, two, three, four, five caustic shrikes. <laughs> well, we almost died to three of them. Um, I don't want to know how five goes. Um, okay, so I think the play here is we just corrupt and we try to blink away and we just hope that all our abyss things deal with this. Five caustic shrikes, not like this. Um, yeah. Let's, okay, let's corrupt. Okay, and we can start sort of running. Um, I probably should have also the resist corrosion ring on. I'll just chuck that on immediately. Hey, look at the corrosion. <laughs> There's a corrosion icon now. Guess who drew this? It was me, although they put it in my draft version. But yeah, there are now icons for corrosion and for swiftness. Um, but yeah. It's meant to be a test tube, but that one's really skinny, whereas the actual final one I did is more like a flask, which looks cooler. I don't know why they put the draft one in though. Um, also, this corruption really did not feel very strong. Alright, well, we've... Uh, I thought that was kind of like a hallway, I was wrong. Um, if I can fight them kind of like this, it's maybe okay. So I can just get, also, why don't I just make a box of base friend? Okay, well the one down there is quite hurt, so I think we're okay. Are we okay? Let's also chuck down um, a wand of clouds. Uh, okay. We got um, Mephitic cloud, which doesn't do much to them. Alright, so this kind of worked out. You saw there that my box of base was corroded. Um, yeah, that something that I've been after for a while, but um, I did it with Checkers. So he, there was a thread on Tavern about um, like what what features, what quality of life features should be in the game that aren't. And then I said that there should be some sort of indication for corrosion. And then Checkers was like, you're good with paint, draw some icons. So I did. There we go. Now we have a corrosion icon. That's a lot of dudes. Um, let's go back to our firing rather than corrosion. Been getting kind of excited about the corrosion um, icon, but that caustic strike fight went so much better than the last one. Thank you, Corruption. And again, that one costs a lot of um, piety, but look, we're already back up to full piety. So again, just use your abilities rather than not. Cool, so that's our, our depths done. It's our, our mutation that's making us lose our stats. I was wondering where my int went. But yeah, sometimes lose our body. <laughs> that, that sounds a lot more gnarly than it is. Your body sometimes deteriorates. I don't know, that sounds like quite an affliction, just on the face of it. Okay, time for a third rune. Where are we going? Okay, the, the obvious and easy answer is abyss. Um... If you're not Lagoonu, so you're just a, a, an Ant-Man, I really don't like the Abyss, because the whole thing about, oh, I've got a new scroll, let's get Holy Word, ah, whatever. Yeah, so the whole exciting, not exciting, but the whole strategy for the Abyss is that whenever you see something dangerous, you just teleport away from it, and then you'll never see it again. And the abyss is safest when you have lots of teleports and you just teleport continuously. I don't know why I'm even checking. Of course I'm not carrying any teleports. 
But that's the point I'm trying to make. As a former said, you can't teleport. So being in the abyss is really quite scary. Fortunately with Lagonu, um, you have the ability to depart the abyss. So it's pretty difficult to die when you can just instantly leave at any point. Something has to go seriously wrong for you to die when you have a button that just makes you instantly leave. Um, so I think, I think I could do abyss very safely. Um, the other thing to note, I don't think this is a big deal, but it seems like some people care a lot about it. But you don't get piety for kills from Lagonia when you're already in the abyss. So if that matters to you, consider that too. Um, the issue I see with Abyss is that it could take a lot of attempts. Um, Lagonu also makes your Abyss rune appear more quickly. So um, that helps you in Abyss too. I think on most characters it's just do Abyss rune as an AK and it's a pretty auto win rune. Um, the issue I see with Former Set is it might take quite a few attempts because Every time we get a bad situation, we'll just have to leave and start again. Uh, the other thing, although it's not too much of a problem, but I would never want to go into the abyss with the shield of the gong. I could switch back to my large shield, but yeah. you Making lots of noise in the abyss where you can't easily rest, not advised. Also worth noting, I can't vamp off most monsters in the abyss, so that makes my vampiric lagitang be less... Um, useful too. The other options are vaults. Again, quite scary as a former Sid because the main danger of vaults is you get locked in at the stairs and then basically the whole floor runs at you and you get trapped. Um, could do a similar thing that I did just there with that entrance vault in the form of corrupt and then try to run away. Um, but still very dangerous because no shafting yourself, no teleporting away. Uh, which leaves slime, which I think is probably actually where we'll go. Although, do we have our corrosion? We do. We're carrying a ring of it. Of course we do, because I've been putting it on for shrikes. I knew that. Um, the floors up to the Royal Jelly shouldn't pose too much of a problem, because we can vamp and we can block lots of things. Um, the main danger, as I see it, will be the Royal Jelly. But we can actually, we can corrupt his floor. Which means, sometimes if you're lucky it might kill him, but it also means you can skip it. So I think just for the sake of brevity, um, rather than watching me have to do Abyss attempts over and over again, which again, I think would probably be the safest option. Um, I'm gonna do go do Slime. So let's put on our Arc Corrosion, instead of Fire. And I actually would like to have, rather than this ring that gives me plus 3 slay, as much as I like having slay, um, you want to have some form of R, RC in slime, because Azure Jellies do so much cold damage. If you don't have any, uh, it's going to hurt. Let's go to Slime Pits. There's one immediately. <laughs> And it hurts. Okay, um, we have a lot of MR. Yep, so I'm not really worried about Golden Eyes. What's going to happen though is the Shield of the Gong is going to drag everything to me, which isn't that big a deal, to be honest. The main issue I can see that being is that it's going to keep pulling the Royal Jelly out of his chamber when we get there. But uh, we'll deal with that when it happens. Let's go back up. Golden Eyes are not really an issue if you have um, sufficient MR to deal with them. Okay, so as per the usual, oh, that's the solution. Okay, um, but the point I was going to make is you don't want to um, explore slime. There's nothing in it. <laughs> um, Except the potential to meet more shining eyes who will mutate you. Okay, dissolution is 
mostly scary because he can summon um what are those things called uh the eyes the floating eyes the ones that paralyze you and you can't do anything about so he has a summon eyeball ability um he also hits really hard for up to 30 but also up to 50 extra acid damage so if you're fighting him without our corrosion you're crazy um that's okay i'm gonna check my abyss chance I never did that on Frederick, but I'm pretty sure there was just no chance at all. I could vulnerability him and just try to abyss him. I feel like that's worth a shot. And then we just don't have to deal with him. Uh, which means if he summons golden eyeballs when I've just halved my MR, I need to go upstairs immediately. Um, that's one of the things. If, you're, if you are vulnerable to golden eyeballs, or any, anything that can continually confuse you actually, you want to try to stay on a set of stairs because even when you're confused, you can still go up or down the stairs to try to get away from them. But as soon as you move off the stairs, you no longer can control where you move, so it's much worse. Um, especially in slime, if you're wandering around confused and you get stuck on the walls, um, you'll start dying to those. So let's see if we can banish him. It's probably going to be about 30. 70% chance, that's so good. So we went from... Uh, what was it? It was barely anything, right? Uh, I don't remember because it's not going to show you. Um, but yeah, it went from being nothing to being almost guaranteed. So again, scrolls of vulnerability. Yeah, we got him. Okay. Well, that's that makes it a lot easier. So now if we never go to the abyss, we'll never have to fight him. <laughs> he can still spawn in the abyss. Any... Um, any uniques or strong enemies can still spawn there. This shining eye, well he's... I don't know if he's going to continue sitting there or if he's going to come to me. If he's going to sit there, I want to switch to damnation and then shoot here. Okay, he came to me. Can I abyss him? Not really. Okay, well I need to go up. Go back to vamp and he needs to die first. Okay, he didn't get me. Good. Do I have Immolation Scrolls? There are just none in my game. Oh, I have nine. Okay, I'm just blind. Fair enough. <laughs> Alright. Same thing. I can shoot... I was hoping I could shoot around. It won't let me. No! No. Okay, let's get the Shining Eye. Still have not been mutated. Oh, not there. Um, we'll go back upstairs. We need to eat. Uh, a gourmand amulet won't help us here because we're not producing any corpses. Our invocations are at 24. I feel like that's probably enough. Is it? No, we'll just keep going. Because what are we... What are we losing otherwise? Dodging? Who needs dodging? And more crossbows? Yeah. You might find some amulets in here. That'd be cool. Slime 4. Let's go back to the stairs. With all the noise, I'm expecting... No. It doesn't seem like we've been getting that swarmed, considering how much noise we've been making. Okay, we made it to slime 5. So, um, there's a good chance that the royal jelly just runs out because of all the noise we're making here. Um, I'm crowed minus 8. I think I just want to go upstairs. Okay, and I want to find a new downstairs. I was just making the point that we hadn't really been getting too swarmed, considering all the noise we're making. And right as I said it, we started getting swarmed. Here's a new downstairs. Oh, hello acid block. Let's vamp you. We have corrosion minus 12. Why is that happening? I do have my resist corrosion on. Resist corrosion only works 50% of the time. 
50% of the time works every time. So yeah, it will fail a lot. That's basically just the nature of the nature of the ring. And I've got a cool I thought I did. I've got a cool um option that I created to make my screen flash when I get mutated. So um, that's why I'm not checking after every time I fight a shining eye. Because if the screen didn't flash, I shouldn't have been mutated. Or at least that's the that's the hope. Back to the stairs. I should be um, manually picking these tiles to hit the most that I can rather than just letting the game pick for me. Armor to 20. Uh, let's just go back up. Uh, I need to eat. I should be making sure that I'm full before I start these fights so I can switch to the lamp. Lamp. To the vamp larger time when I need to. I have 31 meat rations. I don't care how much I eat. I'm not, I'm not going to run out of food. And the cool thing about making so much noise like this is that you can just um, keep switching between stairs because you pull everything to one stair and then when you go to the other stair, it'll be empty. No, can't. Go on, go on, go on. Here's a roll jelly. Come to investigate the noise. Um, I'll just go up. Uh, I don't really want to fight him out there. Man, it would be so much lazy to just switch back. I always make this mistake. I'm like, yeah, it's, easy. it's easier and lazier just to stay with the damnation obelisk, but then <laughs> actually shooting stuff when it's right next to you is very tedious. Particularly if you don't have a repeat previous action key. Getting all the acid blobs as my main priority. Don't really care too much about the slime creatures. Oh, he's back. This is kind of just going to keep happening. Um, the road jelly is just going to keep coming to whichever stair I'm at because of, he's out of his home now. And um, I'm making so much noise. And I've explored everywhere, so the third downstairs is separated. There is a hatch, but uh, I'm not going to take a hatch. You have to be kind of crazy to do that on a form sid. I mean, you have to be kind of crazy to take any hatches on anything, but particularly a form sid. Okay. Oh, he's back. As long as I don't shoot him, he's not going to um, erupt into all the jellies. Also, the royal jelly will never leave the floor. So, as long as you're... Why is this guy not dying? As long as you're um, near step, you don't have too much to fear from the royal jelly. Alright, did my screen flash? I don't know. It's too early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had caffeine yet. It's not fair. Oh, sweet. Can get him. I should be checking what mutation I got. I'm not actually sure. Also, I said I was going to eat before I started doing this, and then immediately went back on my word. I got... I don't know. Did he give me a good one? Did he give me dex plus two? Not sure. It was too long ago. Oh no. Here. Strange energies. You feel clumsy. Okay, so maybe I was... More... I had more deaths than that. Alright, fair enough. Uh, let's eat. Not make the same mistake. Royal Jelly's still here. 
Okay, looks like we're going back to the other one then. Okay, should be stair dancing these guys up so they don't just become titanic slimes. Oh, hello, Royal Jelly. <laughs> okay, and the thing is, I would like, well, the, the actual thing is that if we want, we don't need to fight the Royal Jelly. So you've seen when I corrupt things, it destroys stone walls. So we can actually, I could corrupt here, it would destroy the walls, I could run away, and then I could just come back in and steal the rune, and we'd never have to fight the Royal Jelly at all. Uh, that's not fun though. Although I have no, <laughs> I have no RF if I have Acid and RC on, so I don't know about emulating stuff. Um, if I could get the Royal Jelly to come here, um, I could corrupt it in here and then run, and that might, uh, it would do the double whammy, so it would destroy the walls, and it might also just take him and his cronies down. Should have, um, Damnation out though. If I could get him to come from here, that would be pretty good. Because I could shoot him with Damnation on the way, and then corrupt as he actually gets close to me. Alright, there he is. Do I want to go from here? I feel like yes. Okay. Another tip. Devs don't want you to know this. Um, you can net him. Okay, so we need to quiver our bolts again. Alright, so let's do it, I guess. Um, I could read Immolation and just keep exploding them. The problem is, is that, can I explode them before they get to me? <laughs> um, I also don't like the idea of them actually, that's probably the main thing. If they're all immolated and I corrupt, um, those immolation explosions are going to make the abyss dudes angry and then they're probably going to turn on me. I'm pretty sure that's what will happen because the immolation damage will be attributed to me and then they'll stop being neutral. All right. Oops, I missed him. He's actually nearly just dead from this. I uh, can't hit him there though. I think we we make the corrupt play. Okay, and then let's try to get out of here. Um, I want to blink here because these guys are neutral. They won't swap with you, so I need to blink. Um, mostly I can see tiles below me, so I'm probably not going to blink just like here or something. So let's uh, bend space. We went down. Um, need you to move, guys. Okay, there we go. It's free. I should be grabbing the rune. Where is it? It's down the bottom. I didn't actually corrupt the one with the rune in it. Whoops. Oh well, okay. So I'm just hoping that my corrupt deals with him. I feel like it's probably not likely in this case because that didn't seem like an amazing corrupt and indeed there he is. Uh, we get to do round two though and he's almost nearly dead. So let's quiver our nets again. Bam. Alright, uh, quiver bolts. Uh, we can still hit him. I could actually still just be netting him um, to hold him on that tile and then all right we've done it so I may as well just get shots on them while they're not on top of me all right let's go up okay cool so that's the royal jelly down corrupt uh, was was not actually that exciting <laughs> but um, if you're lucky corrupt can just kill him The other thing that we could have just done is we would have had a fine time just miting up if we went might agi and then um, just vamped him in this hallway using nets that would kill him just fine as well.
and then this briefly these walls would disappear but again if you've got a shield and vamp you could then just fight the remaining um, dudes in that hallway it wouldn't be too big of a problem in the flight yeah, thank you um, is it worth having a sack of spiders probably not worth having a ring mail though Cool, Vamp Lagitan goes to 7. Let's just eat this fruit. I just remembered that there's actually a, um, there's a treasure trove that wants a demon trident. We've never seen a demon trident, yeah, it's just not happening. Nor is the manual of short blades, no thank you. Third rune. Still no passage. Still no passage. Let's add this armor. Plus zero. No thank you. Okay, that's our slime. That's our third rune. So, time to head into Zot. Is it? Is there anything I want to do? Um, would really like to get a gold dragon scales, if I could. Um, at best, when we're wearing a ring of protection from fire, we can have one point of RF, which for all the fires isn't isn't great. <laughs> if you could, you'd rather have at least two. Can do it with one, um, particularly if you have a high AC, and we have almost forty which is pretty high um, but yeah I would like more what's on our shopping list? sniper <laughs> okay um, I guess I'll go buy this other sack of spiders don't mutate me I kind of wanted to let it mutate me so I could see if my screen flashed but that's not actually a good idea Alright, let's grab this one. Sniper is not happening. Sorry if you were looking forward to that one. And then everything else here. I never use phantom mirrors. I probably should. You can use phantom mirror on the royal jelly. That's a good target. Um, your, your royal jelly phantom won't spit out the other jellies, but it's still a massive dude who hits really hard. And is quite tanky. Okay, so I think going into Zot, I'd rather just have a point of RF and a point of RC rather than having plus three slay. As nice as plus three slay is, um, we don't otherwise have any elemental damage. And did I really just not find any amulets? We really didn't. <laughs> the only amulets in this game are bad bad artifacts, harm, and gourmand. Where's the reflection? I'd be happy with a plus one amulet of reflection. It's really so sad. So yeah, our, as far as our resistances go, we don't have our poison. I think I can get it. Do I not have our poison anywhere? Just that scale mail. Okay, so we need to be aware of that. We have no our poison. And then, uh, what else? We've got our lack of our shield, we've got plenty of MR. <laughs> we have no stealth, but we are the noisiest ant. <laughs> or one of them anyway. So that's not a big deal. Yep, okay, I think we're ready then. We've got plenty of bolts too. Still have over a thousand. Here we go. How are we going for magic mapping? Only three. Okay. Well, I think we'll leave this one here. So we'll do we'll do Zot as our final one. I think if I started doing Zot now, this is going to become one of those one hour, 30 minute episodes. <laughs> so I'll wrap it up there. Yeah. Join me in the next one. Hopefully we'll be pulling out a win and making it a nine streak. See you then.